analysis. So, in all these concepts, we study about utility and the consumption basically. So, now first one what is called utility? The concept of utility was introduced in economics through by G. in 1871. Utility means it is the power of a commodity to satisfy human want. So, simple already we have studied in our first lesson. What is utility? It is power of a commodity to satisfy human wants. It means when a commodity has the capacity or a power to satisfy human want, it, it means that the commodity has utility. For example, take one example. Uh, there is a car, very good car, Maruti car is there, swift desire. At the same time, another side, we have another Maruti car, that is also Maruti car. So, the, the difference is, the Maruti desire is in good condition, we can use it for traveling. Whereas, the other Maruti car, it is not in use and it has many problems, that is why we cannot drive it. Then, the Maruti car which is in use has utility, the Maruti car which has not in use and which cannot be used has no utility, has no utility. So, it means that the commodity which satisfies human wants only called as it has utility. Otherwise, if a commodity do not satisfy human want, it means that it has no utility, it has no utility. So, in economics, utility is a psychological phenomena, it is a psychological phenomena and utility has nothing to do with usefulness, it means utility and usefulness are different, utility has nothing to do with usefulness. For example, take a alcohol, alcohol is a commodity, but consuming alcohol whether it gives you any benefit or good health? No, consuming alcohol is injurious to health, but it has utility, but it has utility because it is satisfying the want of a drunkard, it is satisfying want of a drunkard. Though it is not healthy, it is considered as alcohol has utility because it is satisfying the wants of drunkards. So, utility has no concern with whether it is a usefulness or not, so only whether it is satisfying the want of the consumer or not. So, a commodity may satisfy a human want, but it may not be useful, but it may not be useful, we can say. So, with this example, we have considered, we have, we came to know that Though alcohol has no usefulness, but it is, it has utility. Now, utility is a subjective concept. It differs from person to person, time to time and place to place. Utility is a subjective concept. It is differ from person to person. So, see a commodity burger is my favorite snack. For some other person, pizza may be a favorite snack for him and I like to have Coca-Cola and other may have Pepsi. So, my satisfaction from burger is different from the other person and other for other persons, the satisfaction levels are different. So, that is why it is different from person to person and time to time. For example, see in a hot summer, having a cool drink gives us immense pleasure. Whereas, in the cold winter, will you take the cool drink? No, it changes, the satisfaction changes and place to place. As places changes, utilities also will change. In Kashmir, the utility of cotton clothes gives us a bitter experience. Whereas, woolen clothes gives us very good satisfaction. Whereas, in hot areas, Cotton clothes gives you better satisfaction, whereas woolen clothes gives you a difficulty. So, that is why as place changes, utilities will different, as time changes, utilities will differ and as persons changes, utilities also will differ. So, now we came to this 
concepts of utility. So, this utility can be measured in two ways and or you can say utility concepts are two. These are cardinal utility and ordinal utility, cardinal and ordinal utility. Cardinal approach is uh, given by Alfred Marshall and ordinal approach is given by Hicks and Allen. Now, we are going to see what is called cardinal utility analysis, cardinal utility analysis. So, according to this cardinal utility which was explained by Alfred Marshall is cardinal in the sense that utility is measurable in terms of units called utility according to Marshall utility is measurable in terms of units called utils like Marshall says the utility can be measured in terms of numbers that is 1, 2, 3, 4 it is for example I am going to use a commodity. So, I am going I, I got 5 units of satisfaction, 2 units of satisfaction, 3 units of satisfaction like I can express my satisfaction levels in numbers. So, we are going further that is a person can compare different commodities and express which commodity gives him more utility or satisfaction and by how much with the help of cardinal utility. As I said I got 2 units of utility, 3 units of utility, 4 units of utility. It means that I can compare and I can say I from which I have got more satisfaction level. So, for that I am going to give you the beautiful example it, which is very easy to understand. For example, see there are 5 brands of mobiles. See students we are going to take this names of these companies only if just to explain this have no relation with their original image just making you comfortable with uh, this uh, famous name all these companies are very famous and we have no intention to degrade their quality or anything just for to make you understand to make student understand we are going to take these names. So, so there are five examples one is Samsung, MI, Vivo, Apple, Micromax. Now, you are you are asked to give the ranking for this one. You have used all these five mobiles and you are giving ranks or not ranks you are giving your satisfaction levels by numbers according to the cardinal utility out of five we are going to take in this example. So, you are asked to give five your satisfaction levels out of five. Now, first you said I will give you uh, Apple to 5 units of satisfaction, 5 out of 5, 5 utils you can say. For Samsung, 4 utils and for MI, 3 utils, for Vivo, 2 and for Micromax, 1. Out of 5, you have given 1 to Micromax, uh, 2 to Vivo, 3 points to MI, 4 stars are 4 points to Samsung, 5 points out of 5 to Apple. So, it means that Apple gives you more satisfaction than the Micromax or any other mobiles in this 5 list. So, it is very easy to compare and you have expressed in numbers your satisfaction levels. Your satisfaction levels you have expressed in numbers that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, it is called expressing the satisfaction in cardinal numbers that this kind of approach is called cardinal utility approach, cardinal utility approach and it is given by Alfred Marshall. So, the law of diminishing marginal utility which is very famous utility concept in the economics is based on this cardinal utility approach and another approach is also is that, that is law of equimarginal utility is also based on this cardinal utility approach. Now, another concept ordinal utility cardinal is over now ordinal cardinal the single point what is cardinal utility can be expressed in numbers then what is ordinal so simple utility cannot be expressed in numbers ordinal says utility can be expressed only in ranks this is the major difference and what it is we are going to see ordinal utility which was explained by Hicks and Allen and they said that utility can be measured in terms of ranks, first rank, second rank, third rank, fourth rank, fifth rank, sixth rank, seventh rank. This is how 
they can they says utility can be expressed utility cannot be expressed in numbers like cardinal so now again we are going to take the same five names which we have taken in earlier example samsung mi vivo apple micromax so here we are giving ranks we are giving ranks that is you have used all these phones and you are asked give rank to this one apple first rank samsung second rank mi third rank vivo fourth rank micromax fifth rank it means that according to your satisfaction level you have expressed your satisfaction through ranks which has the highest rank which has the highest satisfaction you are given first rank which has the second highest you are given second rank which has the uh, the this one satisfaction level less than the second is as given as third rank and the next satisfaction level you have considered to the vivo that is fourth rank and the less satisfaction than the vivo that is fifth rank you have given to the micromax so your satisfaction is expressed in ranks in ranks and this method is called ordinal concept ordinal concept so this is how cardinal and ordinals are the simple difference Cardin according to the cardinal utility, utility can be expressed in numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4. Whereas ordinal utility cannot be expressed in numbers, it, it, it can be expressed only in rank and we can compare. We can compare like first rank, second rank, third rank, fourth rank. It means first rank is better than the second rank, second rank is better than the third rank, third rank is better than the fourth rank, fourth rank is better than the fifth rank. So this is how we can arrange our satisfaction levels. So these are the major differences between cardinal and cardinal. On the basis of this ordinal concept, indifference curve analysis was built by Hicks and Allen.